Two weeks ago, food pantry director Pat Gaston reported seeing a wild boar in the back of the pantry yard. Hogbusters owner Steve Stribling was called out to take care of the matter, and on Christmas morning, she found a present in the trap. Uh, this is a, a hog that's been uh, roaming the, the city of Navasota for the last couple of weeks. Uh, I was notified by uh, city mayor, Burke Miller, and, and uh, Brad Stafford, our city manager. Uh, they asked me if I would step in and, and take a look at what we were looking at here. Pat Gaston, the manager of the Christian Community Center had seen this pig and had asked us to come out and see if we could trap it. So I told the city that I would set this trap up for him and, and uh, see if we could catch this guy. We kind of assumed from the very beginning that, that um, this was a, a pet of somebody's, but we weren't sure. There's uh, some rope on the back leg indicating that they've been tied up before. Only assume that it's been a pet. Uh, one thing that we want to encourage people that if they do see these wild hogs in the city or in the city limits, to notify the police department or the animal control. Don't try and trap them. Don't try and capture them. Don't antagonize them. to address this problem. They've talked about firing a tranquilizer gun and some other things. We've talked about having some traps for them to trap these guys in the future. So I'm very pleased with what the city's done about getting on this as quick as they have. And you were saying some of these can carry diseases? Yeah, again they do. Only about 10% of them carry these diseases, so not very many of them have diseases, but they do carry them along with the domestic pigs. They carry diseases just like cattle and anything else, but just be careful around play it safe. Again, let your, your authorities know that uh, you've spotted these guys. Don't try an effort to capture them, shoot them, or kill them. Or anything else. And they're not usually found in the city, right? No, typically these are in the wild, but we're seeing them more and more move to the rural areas and residential places. We're seeing them now in golf courses and places like that. So if they're not in your town now, they will be soon. They're coming to you soon. <coughs> well, Deborah Kukoy and I were standing on the donation porch one morning about 8.30 and I looked past the gate that goes mm -hmm. back to the property and I saw what I thought was a really strange looking I turned and I saw it snout and ears and thought, holy have so many elderly or handicapped or small children that come on this property that I don't need to come again. And how long have you been the director here? Um, I've been the director of seven years. It's your first sighting? First sighting that I've seen, yeah. And hopefully the last.